Thank you for joining us here again on our program, Pray TV. So happy, as always, when I have my wife joining me and Charlotte. Just greet the people, please. We're just thankful that God has allowed us to be with you again today. Um, the Word says in Him we live, we move, we have our being. And so we really don't take these opportunities for granted. And we thank God that we have time to just enjoy our time of prayer together today. And you know, this is really becoming for some people just a part of the way that you do your devotions. We're getting more and more feedback from people who are telling us this, that they're just taking these scriptures that we're bringing and, and praying with us. And, and we do know that it's not all of your prayer by any means because the Lord tells us to pray without ceasing. He tells us to be instant in prayer, no matter what the circumstances, just to be always be in communion with the Lord. But we're doing this because we believe that the Lord has called us to help and to raise up and to encourage intercession. And that is part of what we're called to do, but you're called to do it as well. We're going to read this portion of scripture that is taken from Isaiah chapter 57, verses 14 and 15 in the New International Version of the Bible. And it says, And it will be said, Build up, build up, prepare the road, Remove the obstacles out of the way of my people. For this is what the High and Exalted One says. He who lives forever, whose name is holy, I live in a high and holy place, but also with the one who is contrite and lowly in spirit to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. Charlotte, would you just share a little bit how this marvelous word has meaning and value to all of us? I really believe that we are in a time of helping to prepare the way of the Lord. I believe that God, by His Spirit, is wanting to send an unprecedented move. And we have this privilege. We, as we are listening to the voice of God, as we are in the place of prayer, of just humbling ourselves before Him. And I, I love the way these verses are put, that, you know, we are preparing the way of the Lord, we are building up, but also we are to stay in a place of humility before the Lord. And that means sometimes even a, a posture of bowing low before Him, recognizing that He is a holy, holy God. And yet he, you know, deems it his purposes, which amazes me, it really does, how he, we are in partnership with him. The Bible is very clear about this. And that he wants, he is looking for people to partner with him. And it is going to take a very deep humility of spirit. It is going to take a real listening to God, a listening to one another in the body of Christ, because God isn't going to fit into our little boxes. He's not going to do things the same way as He did maybe in the past. And so that's why we have to take this posture of humility, of letting Him be God, and yet knowing that we have the privilege of partnering with Him. Well, we know that we are partners with God. That's because He's inviting us into this family. He wants this communication. He, he, he has designed us that way. We're incomplete without Him. So we're going to look at this portion of Scripture one more time and prepare our hearts to be in prayer. We know that God is awesome. We know that by the power of the Holy Spirit, He is by His Spirit in everything. He is the glue that holds all of creation together. He is in everything that is visible and in everything that is invisible, all of the intangibles that hold gravity together, that hold all of these forces together, that hold all of matter together. Yes, He's in all of it but He is also in a very special way wanting to be in us. And He wants for us to walk in that contrition. He wants us to walk in that humility so that He can just 
come close and be with us in a very personal sense. Reading this portion again from Isaiah chapter 57, verses 14 and 15 in the New International Version of the Bible, it says, And it will be said, build up, build up, prepare the road, remove the obstacles out of the way of my people, for this is what the High and Exalted One says, He who lives forever, whose name is holy, I live in a high and holy place, but also with the one who is contrite and lowly in spirit, to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. Charlotte, would you just lead us in prayer, particularly that God would give to us this posture of humility. Lord, as we consider today your holiness, it fills us with awe, Lord, that you would even deem friendship with us to be such a value to you, God, but you do. And Lord, we think of the privilege of preparing the way for you. And Lord, we know that that will take a prayerful, humble spirit. Because Lord, in order to prepare the way for you, and you to do what you are really wanting to do in this earth. In these last days of time, Lord, it is going to take us listening and in a posture prayer, God. And obedience probably such as we have not yet come to. And Father, we just pray today that we would be filled, Lord, with such a sense of awe of you, of your love for us, of your majesty, Lord, and the fact that you are asking us, Lord, to cooperate with you. And we just ask, Lord, that we would open our hearts, Lord, to whatever it is that you are calling us to do. We pray that we will begin to hear your voice well in the place of prayer, Lord, and not only hear your voice, but act upon it, Lord, and be obedient. And Lord, if it's something that seems a little, you know, far-fetched for us, or something that maybe humbles us a little bit, and we have to swallow our pride, we pray, God, that we will be willing to do it for your sake, for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of those people, Lord, that you are desirous of bringing into your kingdom, Lord. This is not about us, Lord. This is about you and your work and your kingdom. Amen. And Father, we just ask that by your anointing that you would truly draw us close to you. Lord, you want a habitation, a place of dwelling. And that's why you're looking for men and women who are of a, a humble and a contrite heart because you have seen in people that are moving away from the pride and arrogance that, that we all have and coming and seeing how vain that is and laying it at your feet and asking Lord for us to be able to enter into that place of humility before you so that we can be not only hearers but doers of your word. Bless your people today. Take us from this moment of prayer into a place of celebrating and of sharing what you have done. You have done a good work, Lord. We remember how far we had fallen and how far you had to reach down to pick us up. But thank you, Lord, that you did this and you are going to do it for each and every person that will truly bring themselves into a posture of humility so that they can be in communion with you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.